Mukbang! <laughs>
Peppercorn? How do you remember that? <laughs> How do you not remember a name like Peppercorn? Did you think she was hot? Um, or do, did only boys think she was hot? I mean, she's pretty. I thought she was pretty. She's rocking that swimsuit, I'm just saying. Nice job, babe. The peppercorns are popping out. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what my favorite animal is? Haley, if you're out there watching this, <laughs> you know the answer to this question. Oh, I you... had my room decorated. Oh, you love dolphins. Yes, yeah. I do. Well, you used to be obsessed. I don't know if you still are. I'm not obsessed, but they're still my favorite animal. Mm -hmm. I think they're pretty badass. I just saw a bunch of them at SeaWorld. Will you marry me? <gasps> you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my god. This gosh. is heavy for $10. This is a it's... good deal. Yeah. This is a situation. What's the sitch? I said this is a situation. Yeah, like, it's a lot of food. Oh, 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 okay. Do you know what your partner wanted to grow up to be when she was a child? Do you know what my dream job was as a child? Probably to work with dolphins in an arena. <laughs> a dolphin trainer. Yeah, SeaWorld. Or a singer. There was oh. no in between. It was just one of the two. I was going to be a famous singer or a dolphin trainer. I mean, they're both good careers. Neither of which happened, so here we are. Can you sing? Cheers to that! You still sing, though. I mean, I hear my name 5,000 times a day, so I'm practically famous around these parts. Mrs. P. Mrs. P. Ooh, okay, this one's good. Okay. How many siblings do each of my parents have? This question's easier for you to answer than me. <laughs> well, your mom has got Larry and Susie. Susie? Susan. Susan. <laughs> Aunt Sue, Uncle Larry, and your dad has got, uh, you got Scott, you got Joan, and Aunt Ellen, but I call her Aunt Helen. Otherwise known as Aunt Helen. Babe, you're knocking them dead tonight. Look at you go. I don't know. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so you're gonna be getting your spanky. <laughs> Pizza break! Uh, some of them are kind of easy. Where do my parents live? The villages of Florida and Waterford, Michigan. Waterford. <laughs> what town did I grow up in? Well, I went to Lake Gloria in high school, <laughs> but my house address is in Clarkston. Well, I lived in Lake Gloria most of it. Oh, did you? Mm hmm. Okay. I grew up in Rochester Hills for three years. Okay. Then like going. Okay. But you're right. That's normally what I tell people. Detroit suburbs. <laughs> yeah. How many siblings do each of my parents have? That's a, that's a really good question. Uh, well, your dad has like half siblings, right? Yeah, but how many? One. Linda, Dale. Uh. <laughs> how many siblings does he have? And then which ones are the half siblings? How about that? I mean, I might be crazy, but there. Do you have an uncle, Sam? <laughs> that, that was... What's my grandpa's name? Oh Lord, <laughs> Erskine. <laughs> yeah. Or Max. Max, but Erskine is like. <laughs> okay. He crossed out his name. I think I just don't know Sam because I've only met him like once. No, you never. I think you met him once, yeah. So you do have an uncle, Sam. Yeah. So Sam, Linda, and Dale, right? Yeah, you got it. Wait, I don't know who's full sibling and who's half. I know Linda's <laughs> half for sure. Half? Uncle Sam, Aunt Linda are technically half. Technically? Yeah, but I mean, they don't want to say half. They just call them brother well, and sister. Well, yeah, that's the same way my brother is. Wait, what about my mom, though? How many siblings does she Jesus. have? Jesus, okay. I don't know them, like, in order. There's Alan, mm -hmm. Ruth, mm -hmm. Jenny, mm -hmm. Cheryl. Uh-huh. Am I missing <laughs> Don't do that to me. That's four, right? Five total. Mm-mm. Same again. Ruth. Mm-hmm. Jenny. Mm-hmm. Cheryl. Mm-hmm. Alan. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. They just sent us a card. Oh, Julie. Uh-huh. Okay, Carl and Julie. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't know. I didn't know their names until I was like nine, so don't worry. About it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't track. know. I confuse Jenny and Julie a lot just because of names. Did I play any sports when I was growing up? You took a dance class. I took two of those. <laughs> two, two years. <laughs> what sport did you do? <laughs> do you not know me? Street hockey. <laughs> when you say it, I'm going to be like, oh, 
Wow, I, I knew that, but I don't know off the top of my head. Basketball? <laughs> when did you play basketball? You don't believe me? I do, but when did you play basketball? Seventh grade, that was the worst. <laughs> that doesn't count. What? That would be like me saying... Well, you, growing up, what, what seventh grade is not me growing okay, up? Okay, I got, no, no, I guess it counts, but I'm just saying, like, Why doesn't it count? if you were to ask me, like, did you do sports when you were a kid? And I was like, oh yeah, I joined gymnastics my freshman year just because my best friends did. I wouldn't say I was, like, a gymnast. I work hard. I, I got on the team. I, what? <laughs> okay. I also played golf. <laughs> I joined a golfing camp for, like, oh. for like four weeks. I know you liked to golf, but I didn't know that. Yeah, it was like a little mini golfing camp, and you they would teach you certain things. I don't know. Does that count? Because it's a camp. It was like every day you'd go for like <laughs> four or five hours. I'm 2% Native American. Do we put that down? <laughs> okay, story time real quick. This group that we used to be in every year for like the stats and stuff, I guess, they would take, they would do like this survey of like your ethnicity and gender and different stuff like that just for statistics purposes. And James would always be like, well, I'm like 2% Cherokee Indian. Does that count? <laughs> Who was my celebrity crush when I was growing up? When I saw Lost in Translation, she's Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, she's so hot. Oh. Scarlett does it for me. Scarlett. 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 We, I call her Scarlett. Yeah. <laughs> We're tight. <laughs> Where did we take our first picture together? Well, I think there was another picture before it, but the first official picture was in the basement of Canley Chapel at Western Michigan University at what it was called a blackout party. The black light party. Black light party, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. And so we had white t-shirts on covered in highlighter. Mm. That was, no, that was the official first picture. But I think there was one of us outside at this like little... Like outdoor, like meeting in the middle of the campus the first night I met you. Oh, but that wasn't like particularly a picture of us no. together. Like stop, no. like hey Sam and James, take a picture. No, it wasn't. You're right. What was my first job? Your first job. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Bob Evans. You were a, a host or a server at Bob Evans. I started out hostessing. Yeah. And then I served for like my last two months of working there. Do you guys know what Bob Evans is? It's kind of like Big Boy or uh, you probably know what Big Boy is. It's either. just breakfast. True that. What was my first? What was my first uh, job? I don't know what came first, working for your mom or working at the jewelry place with the mom. Or yeah. neither. I think my mom came first. Have I ever been fired from a job? No. Correct. <laughs> Have I ever been fired for a job? <laughs> Your own mom fired you and then rehired you and then fired you again. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> I was bad because what I would do, I would talk to everyone in the office. I still do this. So I would cost, you know, everyone money. I worked at a jewelry store though. People don't know that. I worked at a place called Beautify. It was like a really cheap Claire's. And I would just sit there and do my homework because no one would come into the store. It was great. I could just sit and do my homework, hang out. <clears throat> True that. And I could talk to girls because there was a cute Samsonite girl across the street. Oh. Yeah, the Samsonite store was across the hall, and I would go and try to mingle. You would. Well, she was older. She was like 10 years older than me. Guys, we're going to win 100K. 10 years older than you. Well, I think so. I was... Wow, I just know. really going for well, it. Well, I was then. like 16, right? So. What did I win? Track game pieces at RaisingCanes.com slash peel. This is too much work. Gentlemen, give your woman the gift of food this Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be fancy. Call it Papa John's. Even use a coupon because couponing is sexy. <laughs> do, do I like to watch television? Yep. It's funniest thing growing up. I guess I watched TV as a kid, but then when I hit high school, I really didn't watch TV. We watched movies a lot on the weekends, but like I never watched TV. All throughout college, I never had a TV in my dorm. 
And then you met and me. We got married, and it was all downhill <laughs> from there. I I like TV though. What's I, we what's, like hoarders and <laughs> we do. We've been weirdly into hoarders. Hoarders, Shark Tank. I watched the first episode of Tidying Up with Marie Kondo last night. Did you feel accomplished? I mean, I didn't do anything. I just watched. Is it. that the Asian girl? Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, that was pretty good. Do I like the toilet paper to hang over or under? Oh, I like it over, so you like it over. Over is really the only right way, though, right? <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest, it is. Why would it go under? Because then you can't grab it as easy. I'm tired. I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's almost 8 o'clock. Oh, my God. If you guys don't... <laughs> is it really? It is! <laughs> 7.55. I can feel the energies... Every day at like 8 o'clock, I get really tired at 8 o'clock. <laughs> He's been like napping at 8 o'clock and then he'll wake <laughs> up at like midnight and stay up all night. I try really hard every day to not take a nap. Somehow I take a nap, wake up at like 11 or 12, edit until like 2. Oh, excuse me. And I go to bed and wake up and do it all over again. I can't help it. All right, babe. So who do you think was the... Victorious winner of our How Well Do You Know Your Spouse Challenge. This guy. I don't even think you asked me the same amount of questions that I asked you. It's not fair. Well, you didn't even know my uncle and aunt. So. <laughs> Still bitter about that <laughs> passive aggressive comment. I'm gonna have to close this out. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching our mukbang. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see another mukbang, let us know. Stop saying it like that. Mukbang! Well, how do you say it? <laughs> Let's start over. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. A mookie bongy. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know, how do you start with these things? Okay.